would like to welcome Ben Ozine, who is from Blatchford, new to Blatchford, uh, the new leadership um, at Blatchford here in the U.S. I would like to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself. I'm sure that it's been quite the um, quite the learning process during a pandemic. Good afternoon, Regina. Thank you. I do appreciate the chance to join the SPS check-in. First, I'd like to congratulate you, Regina, on your new responsibilities. Thanks. Uh, also during the pandemic. A little bit about myself. Well, first and foremost, I'm a dad. I've got uh, two daughters, one's 16 and one is 13. And my wife, Michelle, and I uh, live in Louisville, Kentucky. They're the most important people in my life. A little bit more about me. I'm new to prosthetics. I've been here for a whopping five months and I learned something every day. I learned a long time ago that healthcare was individualized. Healthcare is to the person. In this world, the way that we interact with people and help them and partner with our clinicians really truly delivers healthcare individually to each and every person. And I'm happy to be a part of it. So, um, you know, tell me more about your role at Blatchford and, and where you see Blatchford going in, in, the, in the future. Sure. I have a, uh, the privilege of, of being responsible for the North American commercial operations. And so I get to touch sales and marketing. You know, it's really exciting because we get to talk about the latest and greatest innovations and what's been happening and how Blatchford's 130 year legacy is going to continue to be defined as we move into the future. What do we do here at Blatchford? Well, we're known for a lot of firsts. You know, back in the recent years, like the 70s, uh, we, we created the first modular assembly prosthesis. In the 80s, we had the world's first carbon fiber prosthetic system. 90s, the very first commercially available prosthetic knee. And then, of course, uh, we're known today for our integrated limb, the Lynx. That spirit of innovation is going to continue here with Blatchford. We have a strong U.S. presence here. We're growing. And as we look into the future, we want that to be the hallmark of what we're doing. One of the things that we pride ourselves upon is that, that mimicking or the connection to the human body and the, that experience. We call it biomimetics and being as close to the human anatomy as possible and look for more of that in the future of our products. During this, uh, the past couple of months, our pipeline has only strengthened. We launched two products during this pandemic. We launched the Elan IC, which is the smallest, most lightweight uh, microprocessor foot on the market. And we also launched the Echelon ER. We are going to continue this innovation pipeline and uh, with the leadership that we have in our R&D team, this legacy of first, this innovation is going to continue. It's great. Starting this new role in a pandemic, also, you know, dealing with, you know, some regulatory changes. I can't imagine that that has been a super easy transition, but it sounds like you've really dug in and, you know, have your arms wrapped around it. Credit goes to the team that's here. This is certainly not an individual effort. The group here has rallied behind the organization. Our operations team led by Simon Loins has just done a fantastic job. One of our primary goals here at Blashford has been to maintain the safety of our employees. We recognize we go from place to place and we interact with patients and clinicians and it's, uh, it's our utmost imperative to keep them and our patients safe. Then all of a sudden, like you said, a regulatory environment kicked in and some of the other challenges that are out there in the space. Thanks to the team, and the knowledge that we have, this deep level of knowledge that's here on the U.S. side as well as overseas, and take on or tackle the regulatory conditions with PDAC, et cetera, head on. I mean, there are three big factors right now facing this market. It's the PDAC regulations, and then number two, we've got these audits that are taking place within our marketplace, and number three, on December 1, all of those six codes that were under review require prior authorization. We made a decision right away that we were going to put our knowledge and our products in the system as soon as possible. All of our flagship products, the Smart IP, which I mentioned a few minutes ago, um, our Orion 3, the Lynx, the Elan, the Elan IC, and our Elite line have all received PDAC verification. Do you have any learnings that you know, you, you've seen through this time you feel like would be beneficial to those practice owners out there today? Speaking of regulation, I, I came from a business that was highly regulated, same business, medicine. Regulation can be your friend. And that's one of the reasons we stepped forward and attacked it right away. So one, embrace the regulation that's out there. 
and then together we can advance that regulation. We're developing relationships each and every day here within Blatchford. We want to make sure that as the industry changes, we help drive that towards patient outcomes, which is one of the great reasons we have a strong partnership with SBS and together we can help improve patient outcomes for the long term. Is there anything about Blatchford that the OMP community um, maybe doesn't know that you'd like to share? What else is there to know about Blatchford? Well, again, we've been here for 130 years and yes, we're headquartered in the United Kingdom, but we have a very strong presence here in the United States and we're going to continue to grow that. One big thing I'll, I'll leave the, the folks with is that our products are designed to enhance or to magnify that human technology and that concept of biomimetics and just how important that design is to mimic the proper human anatomy. There's a story about a young woman named Julie who is one of our patient ambassadors. One of the things she said when she received her Elan IC was that, you know, I lost a foot, but I lost more than a foot, I lost an ankle. And now with the Elan, the Elan IC, I have that ankle back because of the biomimetic design, the human technology interface, making sure that the prosthesis that our patients receive mimics their natural anatomy as closely as possible. And for Julie, that made all the difference in the world. And I'm sure it does for thousands of other folks around the country. That's a great story. What does the future look like for Blatchford? I mean, if you've got your crystal ball, you know, what does the future look like? The future I, really looks like diving into this human technology interface, to be honest with you. And how can we take a look at what we've got today in this prosthesis and advance the connection between today's technology and patient outcomes? And imagine the day when we're able to work with patients and they can use their device each and every day, regardless of their activity in their life, in their lifetime or that day. Right. Um, that's what we're really striving for, and we're going to be there sooner rather than later. Thank you so much for your time in being on the SPS check-in. I feel like we've, we've learned a lot more about Blatchford and so grateful to learn more about you. The best of luck to you, Ben, and i um, really grateful for your time. Thank you so much, Regina, and congratulations to you once again. Blatchford's proud to be here as your partner. Thanks. Take Thank care. You.